Has procrastination ever served you well? This is an excerpt from my book, God's Wake Up Call by Nancy Hilton. The title is The Mended Fence. John and Cindy had been married for 20 years. They had two teenagers and an eight-year-old girl. They lived in a moderate home with three bedrooms and two and one half baths. John worked as a salesman and Cindy was a school teacher. Every weekend, Cindy had a list of jobs that needed to be done. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> Mend the fence was always the first one on the list. She also had things like wash the windows, clean out the garage, fix the bike, wash the car, do the laundry, grocery shopping, etc. Each week, Cindy dispensed the jobs to everyone in the house and expected the work to be done. She always gave John the slip that said, mend the fence. Every week he tried to find the time to go to the store and buy the wood and nails to fix the fence, but he never completed his assigned task. The dog got loose because there was a gap in the fence, so they had to chase him every day. The hole got larger and larger, but John never found the time to mend the fence. Cindy nagged and John just became obstinate. The hole is not that big. It can be patched. I will take care of it. Then one day, a stray cat crawled through the fence and went after the dog. The dog chased the cat and their little girl started yelling and then crying. The cat ran into the house with the dog close behind. The chase was on and nothing was excluded from their path. Crash went the lamp. Down went the china vase from Aunt Louise. The cat jumped on the kitchen counter and ran through the food, then huddled on the top of the refrigerator and snarled. John chased the dog, caught him, and threw him outside. Come here, little kitty. I won't hurt you. The cat snapped at John and clawed his arm. Ouch, said John, as he reached again for the cat. He grabbed the cat by the back of the neck and held it at arm's length. He ran out the front door and threw the cat out. He ran into the garage, found a scrap of wood, some nails, and covered that hole in the fence. There, he said. That will keep you out. He went inside and carefully washed and sanitized his wound. Just then, Cindy came home from shopping and looked at the mess. Her favorite vase was broken and her face became red. What happened, she asked. John looked up from bandaging his arm with a sheepish grin. He said, well, I finally mended the fence. Apologies can be difficult, so do not procrastinate and do what is necessary to get your lives in order. It is my prayer that these stories will challenge you to think about the different aspects of your life. You can find links to these stories in the description. Now, I'm also a watercolor artist and decided that after my miracle, I needed to include Jesus Christ in my paintings. That's why I created my website, HiltonArtist.com, so you could actually download any of these watercolors for your personal use for free.